So confirmation on the graphic on the top left of screen. We are on our last lap. And so now everything to play for for Chas Mostert. We jump on board car number 25, Mobile One, Optus Racing entry. It's what it looks like in behind the rear wing of James Courtney's car. What's it look like from a behavioural standpoint at five, where we've seen troubles this weekend? Chaz has got great mid-corner pace here. He's all over him on the run to the top end of the circuit. He just shows the nose ever so slightly. Here's where the speed now begins to build out the other side, winding these things up to 270-odd kilometres an hour. And at the back end of the race, they will be sliding through here at high speed. Fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear coming up. Now he's right in the draft. Does he get some benefit? They start sizing up the fast left-right chicane. Both of them perfectly online. No evidence of sliding. Track limits to be respected on the exit. James is a little hungrier on the exit than Chaz. He's still right with him. Meantime, Van Gisbergen's got 1.8 seconds. He's done the fastest first two sectors. He's going to do a quicker lap on the very last lap of the race. Here comes Mostert. He's got the slide on. Greases it out of there in second gear. He's all over the rear wing. He can see the part number from there. Mostert is having a giant crack. Now he goes back out to the racing line for the crisscross. Can he get up on the outside and displace in the final corner? They're both bringing oh, they're hit. And they hit into each other. Yes. And off they go. Courtney is off. Courtney is off. And Mostert's got in there and locked horns with him. Unbelievable finish to the race. And Van Gisbergen, the fastest lap of the race. On the last lap for the victory. Two seconds.